do you know what? I just hate what all of this has become. Do you know? I like, we've forgotten who we are, what we stand for. And now we've accepted this mystery money. And why? You didn't consult me. You didn't consult the fans. It's just... This decision was frankly above your pay grade. Above my pay grade? I built this. Without me, this club doesn't exist. Without the fans, this club does not exist. Come on. Look, we've made this decision for the good of the fans. Don't make me laugh. Which you mean? Now he's lying to me. Now he's lying to me. You made the decision for one reason, one reason only, and that is to line your pockets full of extra cash for the dollars and the pounds. And listen, for... ben, we are sorry that you feel like sorry. That. What do you mean you're sorry? Sorry. We started this to be different. We started this to be not like those other city clubs. You know. And now, what are we? We're we're Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal haven't won anything in Europe recently. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. That is true. That is true. But you left with no choice. Do you feel like you don't belong? No, it's, it's not even that. It's not, At this point, it's not even that. You know, you've released Michael Emery. You've removed Thames Telly. You know, Lili's statue, that's been removed. Lili never had a statue. Exactly. Exactly. Well, what are you going to do? Well, you've left with no choice, have you? You've left me with one option. So, with a heavy heart, I... You're fired. No, 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 no. We hang Thanks on. Thanks for everything. No, no. Let's do that conversation again. Let's let's rerun that. Do what again? No, no. We've got a because I've got a I've got a quit. You see, you've got I've got a goodbye, Ben. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell him I quit. So it's not going to matter, is it? It's not going to matter. Guess that's that then. Right. <clears throat> oh, actually, before I leave, uh, get to the intro as well. So. You know, I'll take my mug and I'll take my intro and I'll take my, my talent elsewhere. Thank you. My neck never really hurt anyway. And with West Brom still without the official paperwork, uh, Thames FC will continue their role in the Premier League, breaking all time travel rules. Uh, breaking news just coming to us here from uh, uh, ben, ben Sports News HQ. <laughs> Thames FC have sacked manager Ben Carr. I mean, oh, we all saw this coming, did we? Did we? Carr is reportedly completely broken by the news. And uh, yeah, probably he's begged the Thames hierarchy to stay. Begged him, hands and knees. Oh, please, let me say, please, let me know. Uh, yeah, Carr was at Thames for 21 years. Uh, the most recent success in the Europa League. Five success. Is that really success? How long did it go on for? 21 years, and that's all they got. Path pathetic, isn't it? Go on. Yeah. Who knows what's next for Thames FC and for Carr? <laughs> Unemployment. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, it's probably there, mate. Yeah, next to the statue. Not. Oh, you... Hello? Just got here, mate. Do we not have a car park yet? Michael, hello. Yeah, working on that, fella. Working on that. Lots of things going on. Well, I've parked on the road for now. Delighted to be back as assistant manager, Ross. Hey, you know you're playing as well, though, right? Yes, boss. Can't wait to get started. Perfect. I will see you soon. Up the Thames. <laughs> Michael. Yes, boss. It's good to have you back, mate. Michael Emery, goalkeeper, assistant manager, all round great guy. Canting, corner flanks. In fact, Steve, Steve, can we get a red one of these? Yeah, cheers, cheers, Steve, cheers, mate. Oh, Brian, how are things, mate? Ben, great news. The supporters group is almost there. Yeah. I've got a lot of the guys on board from the other lot, and I think we're gonna be just fine. Really? Yep, the Twitch lot, the Patreon guys are all extremely excited. That's a huge relief, Brian, I'm telling you now. Are we assuming tomorrow? 
We are indeed, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, 5pm. Yep, my time? No, no, my time. Obviously my time. Okay, so what time is that for me? I'll be honest, I thought you would have worked out the conversion by now. You know what, Ben, you're right. Leave it with me. 5pm, GM TV. G no, 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 G GMT. GM TV was a breakfast TV show in the 90s. Yeah, I knew that. Do you? Do you really know? No, not a clue. All right, see you later, Brian. Take care. We'll chat tomorrow. Right then, Michael's ready, Brian's ready, kits look good, it's time to meet the team. So here we are then, the save begins with AFC Thames, not Thames FC, gotcha. This is a new series. Let's set targets we've never set before. If you're enjoying the videos and you are looking forward to this series, drop a like on it. Let's aim for seven and a half thousand likes. That is something I've never hit before. I've never had a video come close to that. Uh, but today could be the day. So here we go. Let's embark on another adventure and let's talk through a few things. Also, I'm giving away a copy of Football Manager with this series. So there's a link in the description to the tweet that helps you potentially win. Like that, grandma, by the way. Good, right? Yeah, look, look into that enemy. The enemy viewers. That, that's us down down there not just metaphorically but literally so here we are then the page you're all expecting as uh, there is then afc thames hire myself now i'm sure i've got lots of questions not just about afc thames but about thames fc i'll okay now what we've done is we've made thames the most average of average they can be and i will try and call them it's thames right it's a different thames it's afc thames but we'll continue to call them thames even with the bit at the start rather than at the end. That's looking like me. It's as close as we're going to get, viewers. It's as close as we're going to get. We start then in tier eight. This is where we started all those years ago with Thames FC, but a new adventure, a new team. If you've not watched the prequel to Thames, I did make a history video so you can catch up with what existed before uh, we, we come to here. There's a video, I'll put it again in the description, the history of Thames FC. If you'd like a little bit of backstory before you get stuck in fully with the rest of this series, you might want to watch it after this one. Um, but yeah, tier eight, it's where Thames FC started. We're doing a very similar thing. Lots of these sides are names that I recognise. I'm sure if you've played or watched before, you'll know a lot of these that's our sides. Northwood, are in there, FC Romania, as well as Barking, Bracknell, Westfield. It should be should be a good battle in Tier 8. Of course, a couple of divisions we could drop down into. This is a Tier 10 database. Um, and, of course, plenty of room to move upwards. Our prediction for the season preview is 18th. Uh, I've, I say, I mean, that sounds pretty average in terms of the league standing. But, yeah, 18th, there's a battle on our hands. Now, let's read you through the team. Now, I've actually not met these players until I've just clicked it. In that moment right there, of course, the one player we know was a Thames FC legend. Michael Emery is back in action for us. And uh, you can see him there, current ability, potential ability. He's left them. He's joined me. He also joins the assistant manager. You saw him in the intro. Massive shout out to Michael for helping me out with that one. Uh, Mikey Emery in there. Love it. You love to see it. This is a man that was a coach for me and, and played for me in the last series and uh, had it in his Twitter bio that he was a coach for three years, even when the series hasn't been continuing. We love this man. So just looking through some of the names of the other guys... Uh, don't be too distracted by these five-star abilities. Um, it's <laughs> it's a squad made up of players. Uh, he's actually not too bad. Of some of the tests we've done of this, I've had not particularly good strikers, but David Hoey looks pretty good. He looks like he's got a little bit of ability. Um, no strength, no link-up play, doesn't run, doesn't work very hard, but it's got decent finishing, uh, decent acceleration. <laughs> one corners is a treat for me. Oh, yes. Problem is for David Hoey, he looks like one of the only decent ones. Uh, we've also got a left back here, which is George Comerford, he can't really run. A Ryden's there as well. He looks relatively well rounded, actually. He could be okay again. Not particularly quick. Uh, only 16 years of age. Has got some some some. Well, he can maybe get better. Hopefully, uh, we've got another a striker actually, Kieran Stewart there. Who, okay, target man at five foot eleven. We're going to make signings. This this team will, of course, exist. Reggie Barron's a great name. Um, Reggie Barron's in there as well. 20 Bravery, 16 Teamwork. We love Reggie. Vontaine Whittingham. Sorry, I've got a player called Vont Vontae Whittingham. That's a great name. Vontae Whittingham. That's fantastic. Actually, while we're here, is there any others? Mark, Mark Mundy. Oh, he's got 17 finishing, and that is... He's five foot two. He's Australian as well. There's so much to, to enjoy about him. I, I, I want to sign Trevor Tuesday. That's that's what I want after this. Mark Monday, get in the first team now. 17 finishing. Ah, the, the rest of the youth players. Uh, Femi Spong at centre-back. Two acceleration, two pace. 
prof- he's a footballer. I was going to say professional. We're not professional. Uh, the finances for the club then are as follows. We've got a little bit of money to spend. I don't expect to be spending it at this level or be able to spend it successfully at this level. Um, and the wage budget, there is quite a lot of room to manoeuvre, of course. We're a new team, so our team does need to be built out a little bit. We do have to go out and sign some players. Of course, next episode will be me bringing you who those players are to make us that little bit better, I'm hoping. Um, so yeah, some of these boys will, of course, remain, but there will be some improvements made. Um, Michael Emery will be pivotal to all of this basically he's, he's going to be a superstar other questions you might have then uh there are the kits above me oh viewers evan works uh, has done some wonderful work with victory kits uh, on these they look sensational whether they'll be available to you we'll have to wait and see you never know i i want all of them basically it's got my name on the front i've never had a kit with my i love it i, I want them and also we play at custom house which is the area of london which they play in but i just thought to have a custom side and to have a stadium with the name of the place where it sort of is uh, despite not really referencing that within the game uh, custom house was the perfect name for the stadium I'm I'm hoping one day we can move and go to, to another stadium called Car Park. That is, of course, the dream. But right now, it's not. That's not the dream right now. It's not reality, viewers, as much as I would hope it would be. Of course, fierce local rivals, Thames FC, uh, are across the river. Uh, we are also called the Associates. They were the Association uh, back in the day. So I thought I'd call ourselves the Associates uh, this time around. So that's who we are, of course. Thames are the river. And... Uh, there's so much to... I'm so excited to get started. Uh, season ticket holders as well. If you're a supporter on Patreon, you are technically counting in the original number for how many season ticket holders we have. Of course, you guys watch as well over on YouTube uh, and hopefully just YouTube. I was going to say other places. There are no other places. I do stream, but we don't, we're not talk about that in this episode. We're not talking about the fact I stream on Twitch most days. But yeah, you are represented within this. The guys that are supporting over there have, have been a massive part of, of helping me do this as a career, so I wanted to give them a little bit back and just know that you are represented in there. Uh, the Patreon's changing to a supporters club we'll talk about that very very soon if you're a patron already you know all this facility wise then 5,000 uh, capacity 2,500 seats uh, of course we've done some testing to make it balanced and, and as it should be uh, so it should be okay uh, the, the ground is owned by the fans how wonderful is that I love the fact we've made that as an option uh, custom house owned by you lot watching really affiliate clubs is obviously something we're going to have to probably work towards but um yeah so much to be excited about you want to see Thames, I'll show you Thames. So what we did with Thames viewers, and you didn't know this was happening, did you? I have rebuilt the exact team that were used in the original Thames FC series, and we've put them back in exactly as they were when we ended the series last time. They were a good side. This man, with his face as well, Ben Hur, was good was very good and when he's 35 and we're in league two i'm i'll be desperate to sign him so yeah a little trip down memory lane uh for a lot of the way that thames are built i'm sure i'm a club legend in there which is lovely to see <laughs> whether, whether it's deserved and some of the names in there sort of behind me i'm sure you can recognize too it's it's weird to see them back existing here it was like rivalries against thames mead from the original series um the team, as I say, is, is decked out with players that were here once before. And uh, I say, they're rebuilt to the exact version that they were. They will be in the Premier League. They will be a force to be reckoned with. They are just behind City and Liverpool. That is where they would base themselves now with some absolute superstar players. Of course, we'll see what happens with them and the way that they develop as the, as the, as the days go on and the, and the weeks and years go on. But um, yeah, to see Thames FC back in the Premier so, Hang on, just two seconds. Hello? Hi, Ben. Uh, only me. Um, West Bromer, do you, do you know anything where, about where they are? They've gone to the TV, they've gone missing or something. Don't. It's... We've not... They're miss. Yeah. Just... You just hung up on me. Sorry, fans of, of West Brom. You do exist, but you'll be picked apart quickly. Of course, I should say this database is uh, built off the back of the FM Editor team, uh, what they did with the Tier 10 database. I'll leave a link to the Tier 10 database uh, for, the, for you to play with. Of course, we've had to adapt it a little bit. Uh, I've had uh, the help of a few friends. Nerdphonics has been a huge help with getting this together. Um, it's so exciting to get started with this again, this series, and I'm, I'm, I've never been more excited. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy the adventures we're going to go on. Uh, we kick things off against Barking on the 1st of, of August. So I don't have actually that long, really, to get together and make things happen. The big difference as well in this save that we didn't have in the first one, Brexit is going to be... Brexit is difficult in Football Manager. If you play a long-term save in England this year on Football Manager, you will find that Brexit has a huge implication to the way that things look. Not now, but... In 20 years, oh yeah. 
So lots to be done. I'm going to, of course, try and bring some staff in as well. I've got myself and my assistant. Uh, my own manager profile is not very impressive. Uh, I'm not a very good manager. We are starting back at bargain basement level. There was this temptation to build myself up to be the same manager that I was in the previous edition, but I thought, no, if I'm going to start a new team, we're going to start it properly, and I'm going to have to build up my reputation once again, as well as doing that, of course, with AFC Thames. Uh, same professional, so much to look forward to, and um, yeah, this is the introductory episode to the rest of the series. Again, if you've enjoyed it, do drop a like on it. Make sure you are subscribed. Um, make no bones about it. I am trying to go for 100,000 YouTube subscribers, and so if you enjoyed Join this series and you're looking forward to it then please subscribe so you can catch up with it every single day turn your notifications on all that good stuff 5 p.m every single weekday and this is the first of that i can't wait thank you all for watching i will see you again tomorrow for episode two where i bring in some new signings we hear from ben sports news probably brian shout out to him uh, and a massive shout out before we go anywhere else uh, to rick who puts together the intro for this series that you all love i hope um i'll see you again soon we love with care from me afc thames and the rest of the boys I'll see you again at the Thames. More breaking news coming to us from Thames FC. Earlier on reported they sacked manager Ben Carr. Who was going to be the replacement? We just found out now, have we? Yeah, yeah, okay, lovely. The new, ma the new manager of Thames FC is Ben Sports News. I'm Ben Sports News. I do the sports. What?